make sure to stand till the end. It could be a part that costs only a few dollars and because of that part you may replace power steering pumps. Stay with us and we'll explain what else could be making that noise. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a Mercedes. It could be almost any Mercedes with power steering, hydraulic power steering. If you have a noise, whine, and you wonder, okay, is it the power steering? How to find out what else it is? Or, uh, and how to uh, test it actually to find out if it's a bad power steering pump? Stay with us, we'll cover in this video today. There is no need to waste your money on new power steering pump, on bleeding the power steering pump, replacing it because it takes quite a bit of time and effort, guys. Stay with us, we'll explain what else could be causing that that cost only a few dollars. All that will be covered in this video today. Before we start, let me just tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here in the garage, we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. We're constantly getting new cars, we're constantly working on something. Why we do all that guys? Because our mission here at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video, that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos. And if you need to buy any parts, tools for your car, Mercedes, any model guys, check out the link in the description of the video below, that's where we get all our two supplies from and you can guys save a fortune so we have that mercedes guys that we'll demonstrate on first we're going to go ahead and start it okay uh, we'll start it with the belt accessories everything on just the way it is and we're going to listen okay we're going to listen for the noise it sounds like it's a power steering pump or mechanical noise in the engine like a uh, chain sometimes the uh, variable timing sprockets gears can create that noise as well uh, this is the power steering right here so let's go ahead start it and you're going to hear the noise and then we'll continue so let us show you guys what that noise whine sounds like we're going to start the car and we're going to go ahead and open the hood okay let me just go ahead okay and okay first open it perfect let's go ahead start the mercedes now Okay, and you can hear that whining. It's kind of like a dental machine. Okay, let's give it gas. And you want to know where it's coming from? Let's go ahead, guys. We'll start. It looks like it's coming from up here. You may be confused that it's timing chain component or variable timing gear, but it's not. So let's continue now. Now, how you can find out if it's a bad power steering pump? First, that noise you heard it, right, guys? When you rev it up, the noise will get louder. Uh, you have that uh, whining, um, high pitch noise. But how do you distinguish if it's power steering pump? Okay, let the car idle. You're going to guys turn the steering wheel. By turning the steering wheel, okay, you're going to turn your steering wheel while the car idles. And when you turn the steering wheel, you're going to listen guys, okay, turn it from left to right, le right to left, listen for that noise. If it gets louder, it's very likely you have a bad power steering pump. If that noise goes away, practically uh, at that point, you don't, uh, uh, it's practically the same or it gets a little bit quieter, it could be guys indicating, okay, uh, that uh, it's not power steering pump. If it's a bad power steering <coughs> pump, it's going to get louder when you turn the steering wheel. Now, what else can be causing that noise? Let's talk about that. We're going to remove the serpentine belt. We removed it, let's go ahead, start the car, and we're going to hear for the noise now, and you'll see that it's gone. But again, okay, the power steering pump is driven by the belt and many other things. Let's try again. Okay, that noise is gone. So what that indicates now, guys? It indicates it's one of the accessories driven by the belt. We figured out it's not the power steering because the power steering pump, okay, when we turn the steering wheel, doesn't change the uh, noise to get louder. Always turn, disconnect the car battery when working here because you have the radiator fan. If that radiator fan turns on on your Mercedes, it can cut your hands off. And on these new cars, it's very important which battery terminal you disconnect first and reconnect first because if you do it the wrong way, you can burn modules, computers, 
uh, and that can cost you thousands of dollars in damages. For instance, guys, we burn back in the day when we were learning, we burn airbag module on Mercedes C Class that cost $2,000. So, check out, we have a special video that explains which battery terminal to disconnect first. Uh, now, with that being said, it's not the power steering, what else it could be? We have the AC compressor. We recommend to grab the pulley guys and turn it, make sure that it's nice and smooth and turning by hand, okay, and it doesn't feel choppy. Next, it could be, okay, problems in some cases with water pump. If it has a play, it can be, okay, noisy as well, spin it. Or it could be a bearing for the alternator, noisy alternator, but, most of the times guys, okay, that we see here at the shop, nine out of 10 times, it's that thing. It's called an idler pulley. You, you may have one, two, okay, idler pulleys often, and a tensioner pulley that has a bearing like that as well. Those, they tend to fail because they'll have quite a bit of load, uh, load of them, on, load on those, because you have multiple accessories, okay, that are driven by the belt. So, that one actually feels nice and smooth when you turn it, but, that bearing guys failed and it will become extremely noisy under load. So that was our problem, that pulley right here. We replaced that pulley, everything was fixed guys. So always replaced, when you replace idler pulley, replace all the idler pulleys, tensioner and put a new belt. For instance, that belt guys, okay, that belt has only 65,000 miles. I just had the section here that was broken to show you that it was about to fail and it's about to break so we have a special video that explains how often to replace serpentine belt check it out on the channel hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time